Right now for some nerdy camper stuff. Do updates. Taking some videos of like the batteries and things that I've put in here. When I was looking to buy this camper, I had a really hard time finding information or videos specifically on like a Glacier Fish House and like more information than just what the dealers had. Maybe somebody will find this interesting. I don't know. The main thing I wanted to know was kind of how much room was under this, what you could fit. I ended up packing 10 pounds of junk in a five pound pail basically, it feels like. Yeah, I'll just walk through. So I've got this guy, it's a Victron display screen that's hooked up to a Serbo GX I think was the name of it and I can add links for all of this stuff. This is the first monitor I guess you could say like thing that I set up in here. It's uh, just a Victron BMV712 smart shunt so that kind of tracks all the, the battery usage, voltage, how many amps are going in and out, like all that kind of stuff, battery percentages, how long it'll go, battery temperature, a lot of stuff like that. And then under here, my wiring is nice and messy, so don't judge me on that. I'll tie it up and clean it up someday. But I have two SOK of the 200 amp hour, like I think they're 206 or whatever they're rated for, lithium ion batteries. There's a, this, Victron solar charge controller. I think it's a 150, 100. So it's, it can take in 150 volts off the solar array and can charge up to 100 amps. These batteries allow, I think, up to 100 amps, 50 a piece. I'd have to look at the specs, but you can find those online. I added this, this is a Victron Multi Plus 3000 I believe that does all the inverting I tied the main wire coming in I still need to clean that up luckily I have started anything on fire yet the main feed from the generator or shore power comes in to here and then this just goes and feeds my whole panel I'm gonna add a sub panel in here that would power the electric fireplace and the refrigerator separately and not off of this so that way if the generator dies or something along those lines like if I forget to turn that off some night say I have a couple too many beers whatever I don't wake up to the batteries completely dead because that draws a lot of juice and it'll run both of these batteries dead in about probably 15-20 minutes but it's nice to have and it's nice to run on the generator for things like that so that's something I'm gonna change the hydraulic battery I left the same lead acid whatever deep cycle one that they had in there all i did was add in this is a dc to dc charger so this charges that off of the lithium ion batteries which get charged either from the solar or from this thing i found their switch this one over here it didn't do didn't seem to isolate stuff and shut it off the way that i thought it would so that one's still somewhat hooked up but i did under here, I don't know if we'll be able to see all this. I did put in a main disconnect here and then a separate one for the solar array so I can shut the solar panels off, shut these batteries off. So that's kind of the quick and dirty overview of what it is. I've got a thousand watts of solar panels on the roof. It works really well. I've been up on Lake of the Woods since last Thursday. It is now Tuesday, the following week. Uh, maybe only use like seven gallons of fuel in the generator and I've only pretty much ran it like twice since I've been here. The longest stretch I went was almost two full days without any kind of extra power. It was just what I got off solar using stuff the whole time too. So I was watching TV, I was in here. After two days it didn't quite fully recover and get back to 100% off the solar panels so I had to fire up the generator last night which wasn't a big deal but it's kind of nice. Yeah, make coffee, you can microwave things the whole time. I've pretty much just left the inverter on. So, yeah, I've been charging things, running laptops. I got two. <laughs> I got a work one and then my personal one. Charging this stuff, running a little pump for that thing the whole time. So for internet, I have this MoFi 5500. It's a, what, 7690? So, and then some AT&T data plan, so I'm getting really fast speeds with that. 
out in the middle of nowhere. This is just another experiment with a visible account I've been doing and trying to uh, configure this to fail over or that to fail to this. In the event I'm on a Zoom call or I'm on something for work and that cuts out, which I, I haven't had any problems with the AT&T account. It's been rock solid up here. I get really good signal. That's kind of the nerdy stuff of this. I've yeah, did some other videos about like the actual fishing and I figured, yeah, I always had questions about, you know, more about the fish house specifically other than just the dealer provided videos, maybe customizations, things that I've done to it that might be helpful if people are interested. I can, yeah, go into more detail on some of that, but, but yeah, that's, that's the camper. Um, I love this thing. It's been fantastic so far. Hopefully do some summer camping trips and things like that. I want to work out of here a bit. Um, just a quick overview of that stuff. If anybody, yeah, I guess if there's questions about electrical stuff, comment. Do that stuff and I can take more pictures, more videos, any of that kind of stuff. If anybody's even interested in it. But yeah, we'll find out.